The book of Job, or Ayub, as it's known in the Middle East, has an incre incredibly rich history. It is recognized by three of the world's major religions, the, uh, the Jewish faith, the Muslim faith, and the Christian faith, all record the story of the book of Job, or Ayub, uh, dating back to ancient times. This book has a real contemporary relevance. It speaks right to the heart of human suffering. It talks about what happens when things go wrong and they shouldn't. Whose fault is it? What part does God play in, in the organizing or responsibility for bad things happening to good people? The book of Job also talks a lot about what happens when friends counsel friends, when good intentioned counsel actually misses the mark. Funnily enough, a lot of the advice that Job's friends give is very similar to a lot of the advice you find in much contemporary psychoanalysis or, or psychotherapy, counseling, a lot of the uh, arguments used and the reasoning used is still very uh, common today. The book of Job talks a lot about God. It's actually where God himself shows up. Who is God? What does he think? What part has he played? And what is his final verdict on a man who is really defending his own innocence? And brings an incredibly refreshing perspective into the uh, paradigm of a suffering heart and how we handle suffering. Book of Job's a very easy film to shoot. Uh, we're basing the, uh, the style on the famous film 12 Angry Men with a, a lot of continuing long camera sequences because there are some very long, mo long monologues. It is a difficult film to watch. It demands uh, a heady intellectual attention, but we're not afraid of that. That's the book. It's been popular for thousands of years. Uh, it's very simple to transform it into a script, so we figure, well, why change anything? Uh, it's done this well for this long, so we're just gonna put it on film. And that's literally what we're doing. We're just taking the book, uh, as it's read, and we're putting a camera in front of the actors. Job is quite an amazing character. The suffering that Job is going through is really brought into very stark and vivid contrast in this film. Often when you think of the book of Job, or if you've heard the story told around uh, different schools, or maybe even read it yourself, that the depth of this man's suffering really doesn't hit home in the way it does when you actually see him on camera. Job was covered from head to toe in open sores known as boils and literally the uh, description of his suffering is that he was covered literally in one scab that went from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. It's graphic, it's disturbing, it's edgy and it's uncomfortable. Job is a film that really is targeted for the, uh, the Christian audience in the West and we believe and uh, research has shown us that, that it will do very well uh, with the storytelling tradition in the Middle East. We actually uh, are hoping and believe that the, the uh, tradition of storytelling that is still very common today in the Middle East will actually open this up to a very broad Middle Eastern audience. That the, difficulty that the Western audience has with the MTV culture and the, the fast action-packed style of filmmaking will actually be contrasted with a, uh, a culture that is more readily willing to sit down and listen to a very long and in-depth story. Storytelling is storytelling though and, and we're sure that there'll be uh, a large percentage of the Christian market as well that'll be very interested in this film. After all, the Bible is still the number one best-selling book of all time and continues to top best-selling lists. Uh, so much so that it's often actually removed from the comparison list because it, it literally does outsell every other book. So in putting it into film, 
we're hedging our bets that the take up will be enormous. Uh, we're going straight to DVD release. We don't have any uh, aspirations for cinema release. We have found that there's a strong groundswell of direct distribution and, and, a, and a really loyal network of uh, Christian audience members that will actually buy from DVD catalogues in channels that we're aware of all around the world. So uh, this is a um, uh, easy film to make, a very easy film to distribute and one that we really hope will have an impact.